Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are working on three different implements. So for the first one is a rotor, second is a transfer box and the third is a, a artificial uh, fertilizer spreader. Now the story in these, um, why I'm reporting this so late is because, well I started this a long long time ago, it didn't work out so I just left it in a box just to I wasn't happy with it, the outcome, and, uh, and I deleted the footage, but the footage wasn't great, and then I just went ahead and said, look, I'll just, I might do make something out of it soon, and uh, I came up with a new technique to make a set of arms, or linkages, so, so I can hook onto my tractors, as you can see that one's not very straight, this is the original, so this is the one that started off, and I said I'll make two more, and then, I made the rotor, had the rotor bracket piece made. All I had to do was make the PTO, the front br linkage, and on the artificial fertilizer spreader, just glue on a, a new bracket on the front and and uh, work from there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a simple build. Um, mostly the transfer box. Uh, so it's just one piece of steel, uh, bent. So then. So that's see, and then I have see pieces a bottom glued on along with the brackets. And then this can actually um open, tailgate can open. It's pretty, st it's um very strongly held, it's held actually by two the two sides pinching it. So that's the tailgate down, and uh, it's just on screws, and then it just and then just and then you just click it back in kind of pinches between the two like so so yeah I'm going to be painting this in a grey colour and then I'm going to do blue lining on it and I think it'll be a nice contrast Um, on the rotor there as you can see it was supposed to be painted orange this colour has been painted and I still have to paint the red on the bottom of the fertiliser spreader so just take off the lid and you can go in and see in so it's only a small little hopper on it, and there's little kind of, it's actually a cog cut in half to represent two like um, blades that spin round that uh, be broadcasting the, the fertilizer onto the land. So yeah, demonstrate these hooking onto a tractor. So I'm just demonstrating with the, with the 3050 here. So as you can see, uh, this is a Britain's linkage. But I've made it in such a way that I can fit the ZQ, CQ as well. So as you can see, works very well. Just um, it's a uh, that type of design. So it just goes in, and it hooks on like the regular like regular one do, do. And it doesn't upscuttle the hitch, so that you know it again, it can fold out properly and come off just as handy as a production med model. So that's on the three of them. So now we're just gonna have to paint the transfer box and paint the fertilizer spreader. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute. So the three implements are out finished. Um to start off the transfer box, I painted it in the grey and then I lined it with this light blue and I think it's come out, got to come out very well. Um as you know the tailgate can to be can go to lower and also it can be lowered by the arms and then lifted up again so it's work like a normal transfer box it's very good and uh, very happy with that also put it in the chain just for whenever I need to be towing something be good for for to collect sticks and, and uh, transport stuff so yeah uh, on to the next one as you see they have the John Deere back out again been in hibernation, it's been sitting in one of the lower sheds. <laughs> um, and then I have the fertilizer spreader which is sitting on the back, all painted um, as a top, just went as a, it's a removable piece, I think it's just like a cover. Um, and as you can see, it's like a, where the fertilizer can be thrown down. It's a mesh grade, it's good more detail. Then it runs, I was going to run it on PTO, but it's actually hydraulically driven. 
um, and there's, there's a pipe, a single acting pipe to run the run the motors that uh, disperse the the fertilizer at the back. So yeah, that's the fertilizer spreader done. Very happy with it. It's a big improvement from what it was, and I'm glad to finally have it finished. It looks really well behind the 3050. So now onto the last, last but not least, the uh, rotovator. Now it is one of the smallest of the implements. It wasn't intended to be really big. In it was making it again. Yes, I would make it a lot bigger. It's only for. <laughs> it's it's very small, um, but it's meant to be just for 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 slow small work. It's not for big acreage. By no means be there all day. Uh, there's also there's both hydraulics and there is um. PTO on this as you can see and uh, yeah that's, that's that and on the back of the 5612 so yeah guys that's the three implements so they're all med um, I just want to show this video so it's to represent different implements that you can make and they all have the same system um, of this type three point linkage as you can see there that it's not nothing fancy it's a piece of steel Needs to be relatively uh, thick steel, so the pieces don't bend easily, and it's just in that formation. Um, so you have all your little gaps, and if you have all them gaps made out, and then you may even put a plate across here just to give it a good grip, and uh, fits on just like so, um, like the regular ones do. Yeah, and then you can adjust it. Just the height and whatever, and that's the that's the implements. So, hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and guys, comment down below which implement was your favorite. And uh, if you want to see me make another implement, um, I might give it some consideration. So yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.